All right, folks. Here it is. This is what good living gives you. That's right. If you all haven't listened to me by now, I'm going to tell you, listen to me now. This is a 335, 330,000, 3.5 liter Duratec engine that has seen nothing but synthetic oils. No blends, no conventional oils, and regular oil changes. This is what you want it to look like. The chains are tight. We can't move the chains. The water pump is tight. I can't move the water pump. I mean, I'm trying to show you guys everything, but I can't move these chains. They're tight as a drum, and we'll find out about the shaft, but everything is tight on this thing. Everything is tight. And look at that. That's what you want your engine to look like. Shiny metal, 330,000 miles. Now we're getting ready to set the timing on it, put the cam locks in, and uh, at that point, we will begin tearing apart and replacing the phasers, the chains, the guides, water pump, and the oil pump. And uh, going from there. But uh, what we did have to do is, if you look down here, see that? Yeah, that's a power steering pump. So if anybody ever tells you you cannot remove a power steering pump, without getting a subframe and all this other stuff. Hey, this guy did it. I pulled those three bolts out without loosening the subframe or anything. Now, it does require some finesse and tricks, but it can be done. Now, the second part of the equation is, can I put them back in? But A, uh, it is what it is. But I got the power steering pump bolts loose off of it, so we didn't have to deal with that. And, uh, we got the water pump and everything ready to go. So I don't know what time it is. We're still working on it. We'll work on it more uh, all through today in the evening and uh, get what we can done. But uh, rest assured, folks, if you want to take care of your Duratec, you've got to take care of the uh, oil. And uh, I think this proves right now what good living with good oil does. So all you synthetic blend users and all you conventional oil users and quickie lube and all this other stuff, keep in mind, use a synthetic marketed oil. That's all you got to do. And your engine will look good. You compare this to any other Duratec you see with a water pump job and you will say, this is an excellent engine. All shiny metal. So... Yeah, I'm done preaching on it, folks, but I can't stress it enough. Look at that. Jeff and I are both amazed on the condition of this engine. It is ready to go more miles. So, anyway, we have a lot more to do. Back one, two, and three cylinders back here. You can see all them. Uh... If you want to look, look at that. Look at that. Nothing wrong with these lobes. This thing is in excellent condition. So we're going to go ahead, take and do the work, continue doing the work. After I stop bleeding profusely, which sort of causes Antonio problems. Right, Antonio? Do you like it when I bleed? Oh, here's a little bud for you, Antonio. Can you come, come take care of my wounds? No? Anyway, Antonio's not going to say anything. But that's it, folks. This is how it's all working out. Uh, we got the engine mounts and everything out. And uh, now we're just working on getting the timing figured out because uh, we got to get those... Uh, those timing marks lined up. We got one right there, but we got to get the other one where it needs to be. And right now, we just got to keep turning everything till we figure it out. Because we have uh, 
right now. We have two tiny timing chain links up up high on the phaser right now, so that means that means I shouldn't drop the camera. You guys all right? <laughs> I dropped the camera, but right there we got them, and we got to find the other link going down. So we'll get it there. But thanks for watching, folks, and we'll keep you updated more on what's going on and how we're coming along with this job.